Nah. Nah, not even a nay. Whoa! Oh. Okay. Goodbye. Falling in the water is instant death. Gex has Belmont syndrome. No. Uh. Hey folks, welcome back to Gex 64. Enter the Gecko. All right, in the last part, we had no idea what the hell we were doing in Toon World. So I looked it up and I also looked up how to actually do these bonus games. There you go. So let's try this the right way. Cheater! <laughs> <laughs> Cheater! Play it fair, then cheat it a little. <laughs> He's a phony. A big fat phony. <laughs> Hey man, I try it once and if I don't get it, I'm like, how was I supposed to do this? Especially I, when recording. I never would have. I'm like, I'm not gonna record six videos life goofing been, up. Been able to finish Alice without that book. Yeah. I'd still be trying to face the Jabberwocky. I'd say you're allowed to give it like a couple honest tries and then you're allowed to phone a friend. Yeah. <laughs> be like, all Help! right, I give up. What am I supposed to be doing? Because if I'm approaching something completely wrong, I'd like to know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like if I keep like jumping in an area and being like, oh, I don't have the ability to get that yet. I, I just like some kind of hint. Yeah. And some games tell you other games, eh, they're kind of like, figure it out. <laughs> Look online. Sucks to sell. <laughs> that too. But yeah, so again, we got to collect all these cases. <laughs> Dodge these lasers. You did it. And then we got these sharks with laser beams on their heads. Fire the laser. <laughs> you didn't see it, but I did quotation marks. You know, it's been a while since I've seen the Austin Power movies. Oh my god, I used to love Austin Powers. <laughs> Mini me. <laughs> um Seth Green being like Oh my god. He just <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck me. Do you kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> that, was that Mike Myers breakout role? Cause that was pre Shrek. That was pre Shrek. I think, I think he had a few like smaller film roles before that, but that was definitely what made him like Mike Myers. Okay. Because even at that, he's still kind of like, I don't want to say typecast because he's not, but when you ask, like... Okay, so this is where I screwed up. I was supposed to bounce off the couch. Oh. But yeah, when, when, like, when you think of Mike Myers, you, you either think, A, the serial killer, or Austin Powers. Yeah, I know, right? Because kids don't really necessarily know that Shrek is Mike Myers because it doesn't look like him. It just sounds like him. Right, exactly. Well, Shrek was originally supposed to be voiced by Chris Farley. Oh. But he passed away halfway through. Wow. So they got Mike Myers to do a Scottish accent. Then he said, you know what? I'm not really digging the Scottish accent. Let's just try the normal uh, the, the accent that he has like in the final version of the film. So he actually had to redo a majority of his lines. Wow. That sucks. It was his recommendation. Don't care. I like Shrek. I, I would like to see the sequels. I know that... Review wise, they weren't as good as the original. Oh, the second I think is the best. Really? Yeah, the second's the best. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen the sequels. Um, the third is very, very bad, and the fourth is fine. There are four. There's four. Oh. Shit. Shrek one, Shrek two, Shrek the third, Shrek four ever after. Oh God. <laughs> And then there's the Christmas special, ah. and the Halloween special, ah. and the uh, the spinoff of Puss in Boots. Mm. I've never seen Puss in Boots. I like... Mm. Oh, we got another bonus game here. Lizard in a China Shop. He's cute, but I think he's overrated. Aww. I like him. He's, he's a parody of Zorro, because he's voiced by Antonio Banderas. Yeah. yeah, I know he's a parody of Zorro. Um, he just reminds me of Milo. I think you'll like him more when you actually watch the movie. Okay. And then if you still feel that way, we can talk about it. But s save your judgment until you actually see the movie. Whoa, careful. Gotta catch the right boat. Very particular about my orange cats. Oh, okay. So Garfield yay? The original cartoon Garfield yay? That weird CG... Nightmare. 
Garfield. Nay. <laughs> nah. Yeah, not even a nay. Whoa! Oh. Okay. Goodbye. Falling in the water is instant death. Gex has Belmont syndrome. Noted. Uh. Uh. Dory just evaporates when he touches the water. <laughs> Seriously. Well, I mean, I've only played part of the um, reawakening. Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth. Rebirth, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that you knew what one I was talking about. Because I know it's the only one you played. Well, yeah. Unless there's something you'd like to tell me. While you sleep, I play all the Castlevania <laughs> games. I couldn't wait that long. I'm sorry. <laughs> Scratch his neck. Fever, Symphony so of the Night. Like... Curse of Darkness. <laughs> I, need, I need more. Hey, don't. What I do at night is my business. I need that circle of the moon. <laughs> I, I thought about it. I couldn't sleep last night. And I thought about going in to play Yoshi's Woolly World. By all means, you're allowed to. I didn't want to wake anyone up, though. It's not like I'd be like... <laughs> My girlfriend is having fun without me. <laughs> How dare she? <laughs> Rolling like a zombie, like, what are you doing? Slaps controller out of hand. Like. Wesker comes in, master, master. <laughs> She's playing the Wii. The what? <laughs> oh, Wesker, he'd snitch on me in a heartbeat. <laughs> but he would do it unknowingly. He'd be like... He'd just click clatter and be like, hi, mom. <laughs> and then you'd hear him and be like... Where is he going? What's he doing? Oh, I'm excited that, you know, Wesker, um, our puppy. Like yeah. Pupper doodles. He uh, figured our, out how to. The Sheba on our yeah. logo. <laughs> yeah. Which you guys will see. We put him in a couple memes so far. Yeah, we put him in um, some memes. But he figured out he's allowed upstairs. Mm -hmm. And now he comes upstairs all on his own. It's, yeah. It's exciting for us. Sorry if you're not as he, enthralled as we he are. He even woke us up this morning. He did. Because he, he, he came like, into the room and I was like, just like, oh, ask. And then he jumped on the bed. <laughs> okay, I nailed that bonus in one go. Winning. All right, let's get it. Woohoo! There we go. Another remote. I've got a golden clicker. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Run, Charlie! Run! Run straight home. Meanwhile, he talks to every goddamn person on the way home. Well, he gets confronted by, what's his name, Slugworth? Yeah, yeah. Slughorn. Slughorn? I think it's Slughorn. Okay, I thought it was Slugworth. Slug something. Yeah, we, I, we've we agreed on the slug. <laughs> Is it worth or horn? <laughs> Comment below, let us know. <laughs> we also gonna Google it. <laughs> I don't care, I just want someone to comment. Yeah. <laughs> Please, please play with us. <laughs> play with me. I feel like Rystar when I Come play with us. Oh, hit the, you, pr hit you the went, press start button. You went straight to Rystar. I went to like, uh, come play with us. Oh, yeah. You, you always go creepy. <laughs> I always go cute. You always go creepy. Yeah. Because um, Rystar only had one game. So I feel bad for him that when I start, he's like, play with me. I'm like, I, why, yes, Rystar. I will play your one only game. Okay. That Which you ever is got. Sad because like I mean I didn't beat the game. Look, I, I played like a level of the game. It is a good it game. Is, it, it is, is very it's, enjoyable. It's challenging enough. And what's weird is that it was a it was a rejected concept for Sonic the Hedgehog. But they scrapped it and went with Sonic the Hedgehog, but after they did three Sonic games, they actually decided to make his own game. So I don't know if it was because it was at the end of the Sega Genesis and it didn't sell that well. Maybe. But Sega constantly struggles with what should we do with Sonic? Why not just take a breather and make a new Rystar game? Yeah. Like, I'd love it. How about we we try to leave Sonic alone for a second? Well, that's not going to happen Let because his it's his, I think, 25th anniversary mm. or 30th anniversary. One of yeah, those two. Something like that. So something has to happen or fans will go rabid. I mean, and that's, that's fine. And but I meant for, in, in fans' of... eyes, the movie doesn't cut it. Well, they're trying to, like, turn Sonic into, like, a Mario. They've whereas, been trying to turn yeah, Sonic whereas, into a Mario. You can't. Mario is, is a classic because, A, he's not... Stuck in the times? Right. So it's... You, you can only tell what time Mario is from based on the quality of the graphics. Mm -hmm. But, like, his catchphrases, all that stuff, they're not, like, totally radical, dude! <laughs> Yeah. Gotta juice it up. I know. I know weird things that kids are like, what does that mean? <laughs> like, oh my god, I felt so old at work 
probably like a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. um, I had to ask one of the kids that work there what yeet meant. Ah! Like I have since used it uh, in, in funny ways, not in like a serious way. Like yeeting yourself off the bed. Oh my god. I, I bought sheets that are like a silky sheet yeah. unknowingly and I have like fleece PJs mm -hmm. and <laughs> they you, don't mix yeah, well. Yeah, you apparently yeeted off the bed. <laughs> Mind you, if you've been following us, she has a bad hip <laughs> that just was uh, healed enough for her to, to like sit, sit in a chair. And like and walk without being the before Yennefer. And when I wake up, she's like, oh, I kind of like yeeted myself off the bed. I'm surprised you didn't hear it. I'm like, you have a bad hip, you know. <laughs> Be a little more careful. I'm a grandma. I have to ask the kids what these words mean <laughs> while caring for my bum hip. <laughs> oh, sadness. I just made myself sad. You just want to aspire to be a golden girl, don't you? Oh, I would love to be Sophia. <laughs> Picture it. Sicily. 1890. <laughs> I loved her. I love the Golden Girls. Oh my god. Some of the things they said are just savage. savage complete oh, savage. Love it. I love the insults though. The insults are definitely like Italian grandma insults. Mm -hmm. May your pasta sauce never stick to your noodles. <laughs> like, like that cut me deep. I'm not even Italian. And I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> Why would you wish that on anyone? Can't believe she went there. I know. She, she pulled a calcifer. Now you're a bacon bird. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. So there we go. This is the tree that I've been trying to find. There we are. Through that random stupid door that I had to go up the spinning blocks <sighs> that if you turn the camera a certain way, you'll never see them. But here we are. We did it. Born to be kings. We did it. Princes of the universe. <laughs> That's a nice, just little random section of water that completely defies physics. This is Toon World. See? This is Lurda Turn Land. The bumblebee. They're still my favorite. You've seen uh, Space Jam, right? Yeah. The ending of that movie is uh, Michael Jordan realizing that he's technically a Toon. And he's like, oh, I can just rig the game. <laughs> For sure. It's been a while since I've seen Space Jam. Da 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 da! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't know Dan Aykroyd was in this picture! <laughs> we should watch Space Jam soon. I think we should watch it when, like, Space Jam 2 is a thing. <laughs> oh, are they making it a thing? They keep talking about it! There's apparently a script! Oh no. I feel like that's something that, like, you you only get one. Yeah. There should only be one. Well, it would be nice for, like, a modern Looney Tunes movie. Yeah, We haven't had one since Back in Action. It, it would be nice, but don't make it Space Jam. Don't make it, like, Space Jam 2. Think of something new. Hmm. Do something different. Because, like, the whole point of Space Jam was to, like, win the big game. Yeah. The aliens. How are you going to do that again as a part two without redoing what you've already done never stopped them before i know and they have i just hope that, like they do a something similar to like the tom and jerry movie where bugs bunny and right. daffy duck are the cartoons yeah like sure they'll act with live people i mean that's space jam for you yeah. but i mean it would be like making a second who framed roger rabbit like how many times are you gonna frame roger rabbit I like the aesthetic of Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and I'd love to see it again, if only because, like, Disney and Warner Brothers were in the yeah. same picture. That's history right there. Yeah. Like, there was a clause where it's just, like, neither of these characters can have the same screen time. That's why well, they're no, in the they, same they, shot they, together. Yeah, they both, like, they had the exact same screen time. So, like, when Daffy, I think it was Daffy. It was either yeah. Daffy Daffy and Donald, and then Bugs and Mickey. Yeah, they had, had to, to be, be in the, sa the yep. same, like, screen time. Which I think is like, it's a really neat concept and I like it. And I think that that was a fair thing to do so that yeah. when one company, like one conglomerate can't be like, oh, well you had more than me. Like, you know, but it also shares the glory. So it's like, the only thing that like, screws oh, it up at the end is like, it's on Disney plus now. So I'm just like, well, no, 
That was fun while it lasted. Now it's a Disney property. Well, Disney owns everything. I know. Pretty soon we're going to be like... Going to Disney hospitals. <laughs> All right, so we're nearing the end, but I'm going to give you a sneak peek because this is the next level we're in. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, the prehistoric era. I like dinosaurs. This is Pangea 90210. 90210. Ooh, ooh. And this just reminded me that the Croods 2 just came out, I guess. What is the Croods? The Croods was a caveman DreamWorks film with Nicolas Cage as an overprotective father. Oh, mm. And Emma Stone as, like... Someone who wanted to adventure beyond. So Moana with cavemen? Yeah! <laughs> I suppose that's a way, only it's dream work, so it's more funny and less story driven? I don't know. I think it, it, it's trying. Like, dream works just stick. They're kind of like quirkier and like more sarcastic in the humor. I know what I'm talking about. He well, says, slowly like, <laughs> sliding away. Like, I, I know what you mean. I'm just trying to envision how I would feel about it. Because mm. I've never seen it. Well, they, they made a sequel. Well. well. <laughs> Which, so I guess it was good enough to make a sequel, but then again, Cars was good enough yeah, to make a sequel. Yeah, I was going to so. say that means nothing. And Transformers is good enough to make a sequel. And Twilight. Oh, we're not going to talk about it. And Harry Potter. All right, everyone. I think that's the end of this episode. <laughs> all right, all right. That's the end of the episode. We'll see you guys in the next part. Oh, we unlocked a boss. Aww. Yeah, but we just got to Pangea 90210. <laughs> see you guys in the next part. Toodles.